Am I the arsehole? For no longer paying for my homeless sister and her kid's hotel room after she insulted me? Am I the arsehole? I have a sister who's 33. We get along for the most part but after a huge argument I stopped paying for her hotel this week and she only has a few days until her checkout. So what led to the argument was that she insulted my parenting and said I'm a bad mom. We have two totally different experiences with motherhood. I had my first son at 15 and my second at 18. Their father and I split up when we were 18 and ever since we've had an equal co-parenting relationship. We both have our own places and I keep the boys for three weeks and then he takes them for three weeks. Because of this, it allows us to be active parents and also live our lives like anyone else our age. During my three weeks I have the ability to go out of town, go on vacation, party and my ex does the same. He's such an amazing father and we're flexible with the schedule if either of us wants more or less time. My sister on the other hand has no help. Her fiancé left her while she was pregnant and she's been raising her three kids alone since. He doesn't see them or call, and only pays $80 in child support a month. My sister struggles with child care and ended up losing her apartment. She's been in an extended stay hotel since August and I've been paying since my parents can't afford it. They live in a studio themselves so they have no space for her and the kids. We live in a high cost of living city and if it wasn't for my boyfriend being willing to cover my section of the rent these past few months, I wouldn't be able to afford it. The other day my sister calls me and asks me if I can come over to watch her kids so she can go to a job interview. I went over to the hotel at noon and she left at 2. I had plans to go out with my boyfriend at 7 and let her know. She said she'd be back soon but once it hit 6 I started calling her and she didn't answer. At midnight she came stumbling in drunk and we got into a huge fight. I was pissed she made me miss my plans and she didn't have to lie about a job interview if she needed a babysitter to go get drunk. She started yelling at me saying that I don't even see my kids for half the year so to shut up about her needing a babysitter one night and that she's at home every single day with no breaks being a real mom while I go out living life like I have no responsibilities. And that I'm a horrible mom because I'm okay with being apart from my kids and she would never. I told her it's not her choice to be around them 24-7, their father doesn't want them and it's not my fault I choose a better man than she did. She kicked me out and told the front desk to trespass me. I changed my card info so the next payment wouldn't go through the next day. My parents are calling me a huge asshole and threatening to cut me off if I stop paying for her room. That she never gets free time like I do so to understand she's jealous not being rude. They said to pay for another week and they'll pay me back after selling some things and I refused. Am I the asshole? Info what exactly would your parents be cutting you off from? Not the asshole even if you were the older sibling in this situation, it would not be your responsibility to pay for your sister's hotel. It wasn't ever your responsibility. Your parents should be doing that, if anyone. Also, your sister should have just told you she wanted a day out and planned one that worked around your schedule, but instead, she not only took advantage of you and lied, but insulted you to boot. And your parents are wrong, jealousy caused it, but she was still rude, still lied, and still took advantage of you. Good for you. Not putting up with that BS. Not the asshole at all. I'm also a single mother. I would love to have the kind of situation you and your ex have. That's how it should be. Not the asshole if your sister chose to bite the hand that fed her and her kids that's her problem. You sound like you've been nothing but an amazing sister. She shouldn't be yours and your boyfriend's responsibility anymore. Not the asshole. She can be upset all she wants, but she's still responsible for her words and actions. She shouldn't have lied, she should have been honest, and she insulted you when you were upset with her childish antics. Sucks to suck, but if you already have minimal support, shitting on them isn't a good move. Not the asshole your sister effed around and got found out. Actions have consequences, and your sister is about to find out the consequence of biting the hand that has been keeping a roof over her and her kids' heads. 
not the arsehole don't put a penny more towards her. She lied, she insulted, she kicked you out put up a trespass on you she does not get to do all that to you and be a leech. Your parents can shut up if they want to go North Carolina over it, let them. She's not your problem or responsibility. Not the asshole. Your sister needs to learn how to say I need some time for myself on next day for an amount of hours and let you decide if you can help her. If not, she needs to find the appropriate child care. Tell your parents if they feel so strongly about it, they can help her out. Not the asshole, you have been more than kind and your sister was way out of line. Your arrangement with your ex-partner is awesome and, even if your sister resents it, there is no way she should lash out on you like that. Not the asshole. You have been doing her a big favor paying her hotel and you did her a small favor watching the kids for job interview, and she repaid you by lying and insulting you. You said your parents are calling you a huge asshole, but you didn't mention whether your sister even apologized. If she hasn't apologized, then I think your parents are also R for beating up on you instead of her. She should come back on her knees if she wants help, and your parents should tell her that if they want to help her. It sounds like you have been doing pretty well. Please don't let your sister and parents drag you down. Not the asshole. If your parents are cutting you off, surely they can pay for it themselves? It's not your responsibility to take care of your sister and her kids. Not the asshole. I would have done the same. If your parents object that much, your sister and kids can move in with them. Nata. Your family sounds toxic. Your sister lied to get free child care. She took advantage of you and if you pay she will continue. I would go North Carolina with your parents and sister. Not the asshole she should have been up front with her need for one night out and asked if you could cover her. You if you'd refused to sit because you had moral objections to her going out, but I don't think you would have done. Making excuses after the fact after you'd been blowing up her phone worrying about her definitely makes her the R, even before insulting your parenting. Not the asshole. Sounds like you've helped your sister plenty without thanks. Your parent and sister are TA. Stop paying immediately. Not the asshole tell your parents cut you off from what? If they're so rich why can't they afford to house and provide for their eldest daughter and insulting the one a decade younger for having her own life together? Now you can see what your family truly sees of you and your life choices. Depends on you how they see you after this point are you going to not be insulted and used as a bank or are you going to cave and be an ATM they can insult and abuse? Not the asshole if she's so badly off financially, why is she going out spending money on alcohol? And she has no right to judge you just cause you have different parenting situations. Seeing your kids half the year is better than a lot of split up parents my dad only took us from sat morn afternoon to Sunday night, barely two days, every other week. She especially has no right to judge you and insult you while you're paying for the roof over her and her kids heads if she wants to be disrespectful and mean to the person helping her, then, yeah, she can figure it out herself. It's understandable she's jealous, but not that she's rude or that she lied. She bit the hand that feeds and she gets to pay the price. Not the asshole. My parents are calling me a huge asshole and threatening to cut me off if I stop paying for her room. Not the asshole. Why do your parents think it's your responsibility to pay for your sister's room? They're her parents. Let them pay for it. I didn't read past the part where she came stumbling in drunk. Anyone who is struggling financially should not be spending money on booze and partying. Not the asshole. Do the kids a favor and call CPS so they can be properly taken care of. Not the asshole you have a parenting relationship that works for you and your kids with their dad. You also don't need to be covering the cost for someone and their kids who are being that ungrateful to you. If you are in the U.S., tell your sister or have your parents tell her to call 211. It is a hotline for social services. It is area code driven so the people answering know what services housing, financial, food, health care are available in your area.